This is something that's getting out of hand in sport, isn't it? Sports professionals being banned for betting on their own sport. Today, the PGA Tour have announced they have suspended two players for betting on golf tournaments. Now, in this video, we're going to go through who the players are, exactly why they have been suspended, look at the official statement from the PGA Tour, hear it from the player side of things, plus what is the actual ruling that players get told as they become a professional, because this is seriously interesting. Now, I don't know what you think about this, but for me, this is getting out of hand in all sports. We've seen the Premier League over the last few years. We've seen it in football over the last few years. More and more players being suspended. And I'm going to say right now, let me know what you think in the comments here. Is this just something that's going on way more than we think? And actually, it's just slowly starting to come out the woodwork. Seriously interesting. Let's get into the story. So the PGA Tour have confirmed the two players are Vince India and Jake Stano on the Corn Ferry Tour. And they've been banned after placing multiple bets on PGA Tour competitions. Now, this is a violation of the integrity program that PGA Tour and Convery Tour players get given. Both suspensions were confirmed and an email statement has been put out. Now, the interesting thing about this is that the bets that were placed multiple times weren't actually on golf tournaments that they were playing in. Now, I don't know what you feel about that. Is that a little bit harsh, would, would you say? Like, they actually have no impact on the result. I don't know what you feel about that. Like, I... <sighs> I guess the the nice side of me says it seems a little harsh. Now, the official statement from the PGA Tour, I mean, I always find these quite interesting, reads like this. The PGA Tour announced today that Corn Ferry Tour members Vince India and Jake Stanio have been suspended for violating the PGA Tour integrity program. Both players place bets on PGA Tour competitions. However, neither bet on tournaments which they participated in. India has been suspended and PGA Tour sanctioned competitions for six months. His suspension begun on the, on the 18th of September 2023 and through to March 17th, 2024. Stenio is suspended from the PGA Tour sanctioned competitions for three months. His suspension began on the 11th of September 2023 and through to the 10th of December 2023. The tour will have no further comment on the suspensions at this time. Now, they're only very short suspensions, and it's coming to sort of the off-season anyway. The only interesting thing here is, like, who were they betting on? So let's hear from Jake Stanio, one of the players. So according, so according to Monday Q on Twitter, Stanio placed bets in total, three of which were on Bryson DeChambeau versus Brooks Kepka's match in November 2021. Kepka won the 12th hole and won the match 4-3. The match took place before the emergence of Live Golf, and both players were leaving the PGA Tour to join the Saudi back circuit in the summer of 2022. So the tweet read like this. Just spoke to Jake, and he wanted to clear some things up. He admitted he broke the rules as they were written too. He was suspended for four total bets, all made in 2021, three of which on Bryson versus Brooks on the 12-hole match. He bet a total of $116.20 in the four bets. Now, I don't know how you feel about this. I said this at the start of the video. It just seems a little harsh. Like, it's on a 12-hole match. It's not actually on the tournament that he's in. These two players were leaving the PJ Tour, going into play on the live golf circuit. Like, I could understand this fully. Well, I suppose... In hindsight, that's why the punishment maybe is a little shorter than people expected. But what I'm trying to say here is, if it was tournaments that they actually had a direct impact on, they were playing in, surely that should be one of the stipulations. But I'm going to go back to this. I said this at the start. For me, this is a problem in sport. These top performers want to get that buzz, need that buzz sometimes that they get from performing at the highest level. And sometimes they don't get that when they're not on the course. So they look for other means. Like, for me, this is something that needs to be seriously looked at. Like, I would love it if you get down in the comments. I would love to see some support on this. I think we're seeing it a little bit more in football here in the Premier League. 
But for me, golfers, because it's an individual sport, I think that support, correct me if I'm wrong, isn't out there in abundance directly from the tours. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I'm not involved at that level. But what I would say is it doesn't seem to be like that. And I hope there is some support if players need it. Now, interestingly here, this is the actual ruling, the wording that the players get. Any covered person, directly or indirectly, betting on the outcome of any other aspect of a PGA Tour event, any other professional golf competition, that's why this one counted, or any elite amateur golf competition, including the Olympics, anywhere in the world, in this manual betting means, placing any money or other things of value on the occurrence of an uncertain outcome with the expectation of a return or participating in a fantasy or other game that awards a prize of value, including any free-to-play, paid or daily fancy game unless expressly approved by the PGA Tour. Like, they are very against every single form of that. Like, even any fantasy things. And I know that is a huge thing in golf over in America. Now, guys, this is a serious story today. It's breaking news. Two players have been suspended for betting. Do we think this is right? Do we think this is wrong? I would love to let... I would love it if you let me know exactly what you think on this. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel here on Bat9 Films as I keep you up to date with absolutely everything that is going on within the golf industry.